Uzziah, he was a righteous king. He was the son of Amaziah, who was also a righteous king, but fell away from his righteousness later in life. And it turns out that Uzziah did the same thing. These two guys were in succession after a long line of Judean kings ebbing and flowing from good to evil and back to good. Now God was with Amaziah. Amaziah, he conquered a lot of land and territory from the Philistines, from the Amorites, and from the Arabians. Because he was with God and God was with him, Amaziah was strengthened exceedingly. And Amaziah loved the soil. And Uzziah did what was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his dad Amaziah had done. Now he went out and made war against the Philistines. God helped him against the Philistines, the Arabians, the Maonites, and the Ammonites. His fame spread as far as the entrance of Egypt, for he strengthened himself exceedingly. Uzziah loved the soil. Now Amaziah, he reigned for 52 years. And unfortunately, in the end of his life, near the end of his life, he became lifted up and pompous. And this resulted in him going to the temple of God, one of the most intimate, holiest places that's ever existed on earth and will exist in the future. And he burned incense before the Lord, something that only the priests are allowed to do because their very lives have been consecrated to serving God as priests. While he was doing this burning incense before the Lord, 80 priests came rushing into the temple and chastised Uzziah and told him to get lost. What was he doing? And instead of humbling himself and saying, you know what, you guys are right, I apologize. Maybe the circumstances would have been different if he did that, but that's not what he did. Instead, he became exceedingly angry with them. And in that moment, the father gave him leprosy. And he was quickly hurried out of the temple. But when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction, for he transgressed against the Lord, his God, by entering the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. So Azariah, with eighty priests of the Lord who were valiant men, went in after him, and they withstood King Uzziah and said to him, Get out of the sanctuary, for you have trespassed. Then Uzziah became furious, and leprosy broke out on his forehead. Uzziah lived with his leprosy for the rest of his life, separated from his kingdom and his son. He kept charge of the king's house for the rest of Uzziah's days. What do you think it is that we can learn from this? Now, we're not kings and we're not judged with the same uh, harshness that kings are judged with, but we are still judged by God, and although we're not held to the same high standard, we still are judged based on the same structure of standards. What can we learn here? What was Uzziah's sin? What was it in his heart? What is the root cause of him going before God, thinking that he can burn incense to the Lord in the temple? You see, Uzziah, he felt as if he had earned the right, or it was his right in some way, shape, or form to have a relationship with God at that level. He felt he had, should have access to that room in the mansion that is God's character when that access was forbidden. He was pompous. So this might be a hard lesson for us to learn, but there's certain parts of God that we don't have access to. 
There are certain parts of God that we may never have access to because our lives are not dedicated to Him in that way, and we have brothers and sisters who do have access to God in that way. But we ourselves cannot. There are certain parts of God that we don't have access to today that we can have access to in the future if we choose to love Him over loving the world. That is man to God. What about man to man? Have you ever been in a circumstance where somebody has maybe started to retreat and pull back from you a little bit and it results in you becoming angry with that person for pulling back in their relationship with you? That is the natural reaction, isn't it? To become angry with somebody for withholding a portion of that relationship, especially if you've invested a lot in that relationship. But think about it in objective and true loving terms, the kind of love that comes from God. And you'll find that if that person is retreating from you, it's probably not because they've done something wrong. It's most likely that you could improve on how you can be a better friend to them. Would they really be retreating from you if you had shown that you are wise and loving and careful in a relationship with them? Probably not. Instead, they would be coming closer to you. And that person, regardless of the reaction from uh, the one who's being retreated from, whether it be anger or sadness or whatever it might be, that person is handling that relationship with wisdom, with care. They're caring for themselves. And my guess is that they hope and pray that the person will be changed into somebody who can handle that relationship better and can gain more access. Don't let jealousy overtake you. Instead, double down and choose to be a more loving friend to man and to God. I pray that this message blesses you exceedingly. It's, it's really, really a tough message, especially nowadays. But it's worth it. You are loved of God. And I love you too. Yeshua died for you.